Good morning, everyone. It's Gloria, and I'm here with my sweet little sleeping Lily Beth this morning. And uh, this is going to be a belated theme Thursday video, which was pajamas. I uh, had many, many errands to run yesterday and was <laughs> out until after dinner time last night, so I really didn't have a chance to uh, get in the video. But uh, I really wanted to do it because I have on Lily Beth a little sleeper from the Little Collection by Carter's. It's a vintage um, collection, and I'm uh, in the process of getting several of the pieces to this collection. As you may recall, uh, not too long ago, I had a romper and a little hat on Lily Beth in this same fabric. Since then, I've acquired a sweater and a beautiful little dress and an overall set, and I can't wait to get those on her. And I'm looking for other pieces in the meantime, but I'd like to show you this. It's the very, very sweet little rosebud print, a little yellow rosebud with a very, very faint uh, light or pale green leaf on there. It has the sweet little bows on the feet and the pretty embroidery around the collar. It has the little gathered yoke here and uh, gathering at the sleeves with the pretty little trim. And she has her little sweet lammy that she's fallen asleep with this morning. And so I, I hope you like this on Lily Beth. But I wanted to share something else with you that was exciting to me. Now it may be a humdrum to you, but um, anyway, I. I was so happy over this, I just uh, wanted to share it with someone. Well, to start off with, uh, at my church in my Sunday school class, we probably have close to 50 members in that class. So it's a very big room uh, spread out. And so when we all gather in there, it's hard to see everyone. And uh, I'm not really good on names or faces. <clears throat> And we've not been attending this church for a very long time. So, you know, I'm just in the process of getting to know everyone. Well, the other evening, uh, my husband and I were in a little um, sandwich shop getting our supper. And one of our Sunday school members, a gentleman, walked in. And uh, while he placed his order, he came over and talked to us. And this was the first opportunity that we would really uh, had to talk with him. And during the course of the conversation, he asked my husband where he was from. And so my husband told him. And then he, he said, well, where are you from? Uh, meaning me. And I, I told him where I was from. And he said, well, I'm from there. And I said, really? And I said, uh, well, what high school did you go to? And he told me. And I said, well, I went to high school there, too. And I said, well, what junior high did you go to? And I told him. He said, I went there, too. I said, well, what year were you born? It was the same year I was born. I said, well, what year did you graduate? Same year I graduated. And I said, well, what's your name? <laughs> and he told me, and of course he went by, a, you know, a nickname at that time. His name, he goes by Ron now, but his name was Ronnie back in those days. And I said, my goodness, I, I, know, I knew a boy by that name. Well, he wasn't sure about some of the details. He wasn't sure about what year he graduated. He said it could be could have been one or two years. <clears throat> so, long story short, when I got home, I told him that I was going to look in my yearbooks and uh, look up the boy that I knew by his name, and I would uh, take a photo of it um, with my phone and then take a photo of my graduation picture and bring it back Sunday. Now, this was a Friday night, and bring it back Sunday in Sunday school and show him. Well, he did not remember me. He he uh, kind of stuttered and tried his best to remember me by name. But, you know, uh, that was many years ago, so I didn't recognize him either. So, sure enough, got home, looked at my yearbook. I still didn't recognize him as being the same person. I thought, well, this must be a different boy by the same name. I mean, to me, there were no similarities whatsoever. So uh, anyway, when I uh, met with him and his wife on Sunday after Sunday school, I showed, showed first his wife and she said, yes, that's him. 
I was so shocked and surprised. And he, he said, he said, did you go home and look me up in the yearbook? And I said, I most certainly did. And so anyway, when I showed him my graduation picture and repeated my name, he said, yes, I do know you. I do know you. And so uh, I told him about the few instances that I recalled uh, about him during those years. I, he had signed my yearbook uh, in the 10th and the 11th grade, and I had photographed where he'd signed my yearbook, and it was quite quite funny, one of them, and another one was just really, really sweet. And uh, so we had a good laugh and a big hug over this. And so it's funny because I have been away from my home state for, um, or my home city for uh, 49 years. I have not seen anyone from my high school at all in over 40 years five years and I had not seen him in 51 years so if you can only imagine it, it was something else I mean I was just I was so floored I didn't know what to do that all this time we've been sitting there in each other's Sunday school class and not knowing you know that that we went to high school and junior high together. And actually, I sat directly behind him in one of my classes, and I told him, I said, you may not recall, but uh, I said, I used to, uh, or we used to talk with each other before class uh, time, you know, every day. <laughs> and then I didn't mention this to him, but at one time he had asked me for my phone number. But at that time, I was not dating and uh, I did give it to him hesitantly, and I don't think he ever called me. But anyway, we were very young at that point in time in our lives. But I just thought that was uh, just the greatest thing, uh, you know, coming across him after all these years. And the funny thing was he has lived right here in the same community as me, and it's a very small um, suburb of, of the larger city here in Mississippi, and he, he and I have lived here for way over 20 years. He's He's been here since like the 70s. And I moved here originally in the 80s and then moved away and uh, came back in 1990. And I've been exactly where I am right now ever since. And yet, you know, if I had run across him, I would never have known because each one of us have changed so dramatically <laughs> over 51 years. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because it was just, uh, it did my heart good, you know, and uh, I don't know, it just made me have a whole different outlook on life, seeing and, and getting to talk with someone that I knew so many years ago. And we had talked about the places that we, you know, the old local haunts we used to go to, the bowling alley and the Dairy Queen and all this, that, and the other uh, back in the uh, early and mid-60s. And it was fun to reminisce. <laughs> oh, me. Well, listen, I won't keep you all any longer. I'm already almost at nine minutes, uh, much longer than I normally make my videos. I did want to share that with you. And... Uh, Anyway, if you have similar stories, I would love to hear them, you know, uh, uh, just how your paths, how people's paths cross in life. Uh, I just find it fascinating. But um, anyway, I will uh, let you go for now, and uh, um, I will uh, send love and hugs and many blessings from Gloria and my sweet Lily Beth, and I'll be showing you more of uh, this little collection uh, over the next few days. And I hope you enjoy seeing all these lovely pieces. Well, bye-bye for now, everyone. <laughs>